Good morning. I want to talk about driving on the expressway. If you don't know, I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. We're going to get right into it. I'm in the middle lane. The middle lane is the preferred lane if you're a beginning driver, someone who has less than 10 years of experience. The lane to the right is the slower moving traffic. The middle lane is the smooth lane. The lane to the left is the fast lane or the passing lane. You see construction barrels. You need to be aware of the construction workers that are out here. Currently, I'm going to show you something. I'm in this vehicle's blind spot. Blind spots are left side, right side, front and back. Left side, right side, front and back. You do not want to hang around blind spots. So I'm going to accelerate out and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Their blind spot indicator is on. Now, I'm out of their blind spot. I encourage all my students to not drive in people's blind spots. I'm a teaching driver's here 21 years, so I do driving tutorials. So if you happen to land on my channel, I uh, appreciate the support. You do not need to turn the wheel. A lot of beginning drivers drift. I'm gonna drift to the right and show you. You see I'm going off the road. Don't look down. I had drivers who retired last night. They were doing that, so I was encouraging them not to. Without looking ahead, I'm going to drift to the left. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm drifting out of my lane. You have to look ahead. There are animals that could come across. A deer, bear, rabbits, turkeys. So you really want to be careful. As you can tell, we're moving really smoothly around the curve. Man, did you? Oh my God, there was a huge animal to my left. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was crazy. So we're smooth right now. And I'm gonna make some lane changes to show you. Uh, this is close enough for me. If you were my student, I'm gonna get over one lane to right, mirror, turn signal, blind spot, and then I'm smoothly in the lane. Hey, let's talk about these lines for a second. We got a white line to the right. That is your edge line. That tells you just the edge of the road. A lot of beginner drivers do this. Listen. Oh, you hear that? Those are the rumble strips. If you fall asleep, you'll hear that. And you do not want to hear that. I'm going to get over one lane to the left. Mirror. You can see the blink. And hear it. Mirror. Turn signal. Blind spot. Now I'm in the middle lane. And you can see the volume of traffic starting to pick up. Driving is a learned skill set over time if you have good instruction, if you don't have anxiety. I know there's a lot of ifs. And if you have anxiety, you need to seek professional help. I am a professional. I will talk about that at a later time. So we're starting to get up with the flow of the traffic. You do not want to tailgate. A lot of beginner drivers tend to tailgate because they haven't learned speed control. If you're getting too close to the car, and I'm going to show you, I'm getting too close. I'm going to go ahead and get over one lane to the left because I'm moving faster than the flow. And I lifted my foot. So it's really easy to get on top of cars. I just showed you what could happen. Now I'm going to get back over one lane to the right. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. You look over your right shoulder. A lot of beginning drivers look over the wrong shoulder. I have a series of driving lessons that will help you through this whole process. So I'm looking ahead around the curve, taking my time, turning really smooth and easy. Centrifugal force, that's the force that pulls you to the outside of the curve. That is a DMV test question. So if you're listening, you need to be writing down this information because this will help you pass your test. More on that later. So I'm kind of coasting right now, maintaining good speed control. You can see the car ahead of me hugging the right. They're hugging the left. I don't want to be near these vehicles. I don't want to hang around them. Go ahead and get over one lane to the right, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. The humming of the motor and the tires, this is called highway hypnosis. I strongly suggest you write down this information. This will put you to sleep on a long four, six, eight, ten hour trip. So you want to make sure every couple hours you're getting up, stretching your legs, getting something to eat, hydrating. So there's a, looks like a boat. I have the lights on, so I'm easing off my gas some. I look for vehicles that are drifting left, drifting right. They're kind of drifting to the right a little bit. 
I'm lifting my foot off the gas. Every 12 to 15 seconds, you need to check your mirror. This is an outside view. You have warning signs. That is the yellow and black sign. Your blinker's on. It's telling you they're getting over. I'm getting over. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. So I'm lifting off the gas. Uh, they're hauling a boat. They have a trailer. I know how that feels. I have a trailer also, 18 foot trailer. And I'm right in the middle of the curve, turning my wheel slow. And I'm gradually accelerating off the curve, as you can tell. What am I doing right now? I'm looking around the curve. I'm not turning the wheel left or right. Some drivers, see, I'm turning the wheel left or right and I'm upsetting the balance of the car. That's very scary and dangerous. What I am doing is looking around the curve to make sure I do not get cut off. And right about now, I'll turn on my left turn signal. You should be able to hear it if you listen. I get out to the first lane. That's a pretty good merge. And I'm happy with that. I'm looking for debris on the road, semi-truck tires, animals running across. I'm gonna go ahead and get over one lane to the left, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. hands are on the wheel. You don't need to turn the wheel as much the faster you go. You can see a good example of slower moving traffic stand to the right. I'm in the middle lane. Taking my time holding the wheel, looking ahead. Dawn and dust are very difficult times for drivers to see. If you know why, drop the comment in and I will shout you out. I'm looking down the ramp because I do not want to get cut off by cars. The thing I need you to know, you have to look around more. A lot of beginning drivers tend to have just tunnel vision where you're just looking ahead, but you really need to see just like third person, like a video game, you need to see to the left, three blinks. You want to keep space or a gap. A gap is a space between cars. Beginning drivers tend to misjudge the gap. And this is based on the speed of the vehicle. So we see, like this car is just cutting for no reason. We see a lot of students just pull out in front of cars. So that's an erratic lane changer. There's no need to even do that. And you see my speed is really constant. So you don't want to be near them maintain a good speed, good distance, and I'm real smooth too. So you want to be as smooth as possible. I have to get over one lane to the right, so I look over my right shoulder, mirror, turn signal, blind spot, cancel my blinker. Now I have to get off at this exit. This is called the deacceleration ramp. You'll see their brakes on, and I'm keeping my distance. A lot of beginning drivers will go to the outside edge. I'm not trying to get into the ditch. You have your Chevron alignment signs. That's these yellow big signs. They're telling you it's a sharp curve to the right. I'm turning the wheel. Centrifugal force is really, there's a lot of science here too, really pulling me out to the edge. And we're on a trumpet. This is, there are different types of express ways. Weave lane, clover leaf, just to name a few. You have another sign. You see this driver there, left, right, left, right. If you go back, they've lane changed four different times. So this tells me I don't want to be around them. So I'm going to get over to the right because are they tired? Uh, are they under the influence? I'm going around slow. The centrifugal force is really putting me around the curve. And I'm taking my time. I want you to see this. I'm looking around the curve. This is a really tight curve. And we've seen this driver ahead of us change lanes like four to six times. And I'm just gonna stop. Let's examine them for a second. They could turn on red, but I'm gonna wait. And why are they waiting? There's a car there, we waited. And I'm gonna move forward. I wish you could see this to the left. There's a truck behind them. So let's see what's gonna happen. I'm watching the other vehicle. So I think there's uh, something wrong with this driver. You wanna turn in the nearest lane 
which I did. Back up to speed, I'm scanning, looking ahead. And they are kind of hugging the right lane, so this tells me they're kind of tired. You can see them hugging the right lane. You need to learn to examine drivers as you drive to learn defensive driving strategies. The Malinkin yellow means proceed with caution. This means stop in the middle of the street. I've had drivers do that before. This could be a still green light, so I want to be aware. Um, I'm getting near this. Oh, they're on the phone. That's what's going on. So, I don't know what they're doing, but I don't want to be around them. And that's a great teachable moment. Uh, we also have a do not enter sign. A lot of people get confused and it says no left turn. They go in the wrong way and have a head on collision. So we want to be very careful with that, mindful of signs. We have the broken white lines. This tells us we can make a lane change in the direction. Some states have uh, turnarounds or you have to go to the outside when you're making a left turn, you have to go to the inside, or you could just turn left at the intersection. Location I'm in in North America, we have to go past the traffic light, make a left hand turnaround. And if you're in the outside lane, stay in the outside lane. If you're in the inside lane, stay in the inside lane. I'm looking ahead scanning. These intersections are dangerous, they're the most dangerous place. And if you're making a left hand turn, you want to signal your intention, you want to get up. See, like them making a lane change just before the intersection is really dangerous. And you get a chance to see this because that truck is to the right. So, if you drive long enough and if you watch my content, hopefully you are. I'm going to stay there. The one thing that you see me doing, I'm very constant in my lane. And I don't try to make as many lane changes. I want to be efficient as possible, smooth as possible. And I want to be aware of what's going on. This area has tremendous amounts of animals. And gravity is pulling us down, so I'm managing pretty good speed control. So let's review. We've learned some information about the expressway merging, uh, deacceleration, drivers on phones. I'm a state certified instructor. I want you to, and I highly suggest, and strongly encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I do driver's head tutorials uh, anywhere from 7 to 12 minutes. Uh, I help you pass your DMV test road test. I want to say thank you. Subscribe to my channel. I will talk to you soon. Bye.